Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the different types of systems. These are nothing but the open system, closed system and the isolated system. So guys, now over here, in this topic, we'll be talking about the energy. So guys, in uh, thermodynamics, it is very essential to know about the energy so that due to that particular energy, ultimately your work done will be there. Ultimately, the thermodynamic processes will be work due to that particular energy. So guys, over here, these are the main basic two categories of energy in a particular system. That is nothing but your stored, uh, stored energy or the second type is nothing but your transit energy. The transit energy deals with the like the movement of the energy from one system to the another system such as in case of the heat, heat transfer. So heat gets transferred from one system to another system. Chemical energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy. So these are nothing but the examples of this transit energy. So guys in our today's video we are going to focus on the stored energy. So guys in thermodynamics it is very essential to know about the stored energy. So like uh, and the study of this uh, transit energy it is neglected over here in case of thermodynamics so it will be there in uh, thermodynamics but not at the at the moment right now so guys over here in this video we are going to talk about this stored energy there are three types of stored energy we'll be covering over here this is not the potential energy kinetic energy and your internal energy so guys welcome back to the another video of ingenious academy myself narendra and you're watching my youtube channel that is ingenious academy so which, which is a, a platform for uh, like the young engineers to learn different topics regarding uh, automobile, regarding material science, regarding different topics in engineering. So guys, if you want me to make a video on your selected topic, you can comment below. I'll make, uh, I'll definitely try to make a video on your topic. Also guys, please uh, subscribe to my educational channel and guys, please do share all my educational content on social media on your friends to your friends and family and uh, on the different types of the platforms basically so guys without wasting any time let's begin our today's topic that is of this different types of stored energies so guys in thermodynamics there are three different types of the stored energy the first one is the potential energy, second one is the kinetic energy and the third one is nothing but your internal energy. So the first one is the potential energy. So potential energy is nothing but the energy which is there which is contained in that particular body and now that particular body which is there at a certain height at a certain elevation above the ground level. So guys over here when that particular body falls from that particular height it will gain some kind of velocity it will gain some kind of kinetic energy and that particular at that particular stage when it is falls from that height then that particular stage the actual work gets done so this particular potential energy is nothing but the energy which is possessed by the body and the body is above the ground level so guys over here h is the height or we can consider and which is there in meters basically so that particular body is having a mass m uh, so that particular mass is there in kg basically the, and the acceleration due to gravity when the body falls it will gain some kind of velocity due to the acceleration of the gravity we can consider that acceleration into meter per second square so your net formula becomes this potential energy is equals to m that is the mass into g that is the acceleration due to gravity into h and the formula becomes mgh which is the mass is there in kg g is the acceleration in meter per second square and h is the height that is in meters so guys over here this kg into meter per second square which is nothing but your newtons basically so that's why the unit of this potential energy will be of this uh, newton per meter so that was the potential energy possessed uh, by your system basically so there is another energy which is stored inside that particular body which is nothing but your kinetic energy now the kinetic energy is nothing when the body when the body uh, from that particular certain height when that falls it will gain some kind of velocity it will gain some kind of acceleration and it is like it will move at a predetermined path basically so guys the kinetic energy deals with your velocity so over here the net formula becomes that kinetic energy is the formula becomes your half into mv square where m is the mass in kg 
so guys this particular kinetic energy in the, that particular kinetic energy the actual work gets done due to that particular kinetic energy so the formula will be of half mv square where uh, m is the mass and v is the velocity of that particular moving body so over here the unit of this particular kinetic energy will be same as that of the potential energy that is nothing but the newton per meter so guys that is all about this uh, potential energy and the kinetic energy now let's take some example of this particular potential energy water stored at a certain elevation water stored in a tank but the tank it which is kept at a certain height it means the water will be having some kind of potential energy which is there stored in that particular uh, water basically the when the water flows from that particular height the water will gain kinetic energy so then the water will gain this kinetic energy so guys that is all about this potential energy and the kinetic energy also guys there is the third type of the energy which is nothing but the stored energy and which is associated with that particular system and which is very much important in thermodynamics as the thermodynamics is nothing but the study of this uh, temperature difference between the two systems uh, two systems so as this temperature changes the also the internal energy of the system also changes so guys we have to understand that over here the internal energy is nothing but the energy at a molecular level the energy which is stored inside the body at the molecular level that is nothing but the uh, energy which is there due to the uh, molecular forces due to the molecular combinations due to the molecular bonds so it is the so the internal energy is totally you know deals with the molecular level so that is nothing but the, the movement of your molecules in a particular subjected matter so this type of the internal energy is totally deals with the motion of the molecules and the forces at the molecular level so guys that is nothing but the uh, your internal energy so now as the temperature increases or the temperature decreases the internal energy also changes so that's why over it is noted at the due to the temperature difference the internal energy of a system also changes so guys over here this particular system will possess the this kind of three energies this is nothing but the potential energy kinetic energy and the internal energy so we can get, uh, we can term this particular net amount of energy which is present in that particular system like uh, this particular net energy which is present in that particular system will be the sum of the potential energy plus kinetic energy plus your internal energy so this will give you the total uh, amount of energy which is present in that particular system so now your net formula becomes your uh, the energy is equals to your potential energy pe plus kinetic energy ke plus internal energy u so the this particular internal energy is represented by this u and the change in internal energy can is represented by the delta u basically so guys the net formula becomes this potential energy plus kinetic energy plus internal energy so so guys in both the cases that is of the potential energy in kinetic energy there will be like the acceleration due to gravity if we neglect that particular acceleration due to gravity if we like uh, cat we if we say that our that particular our body which is there at the ground level there will be no acceleration there will be no movement there will be no potential energy and no kinetic energy so in that case the total energy possessed by that particular system will be equal to the total energy of that particular internal will be equal to the internal energy of that particular system so guys over here in this video we have seen this three types of stored energy which is nothing but the your potential energy kinetic energy and internal energy so guys in thermodynamics the transient energy the transient energy is neglected the uh, like energy of uh, the electricity the chemical reactions the mechanical energy it is totally neglected uh, like uh, neglected over here in thermodynamics so guys that was about the three types of the stored energy so guys i hope you understood this simple topic that is of this uh, types of energy so guys in case of uh, queries you can comment below and guys please uh, subscribe to my education channel genius academy guys so thank you so much for watching this video guys